Hello everyone, thanks for dropping by. That's the latest and greatest Porsche uh, Cayman. And it's generally bought by people that want a Porsche but can't afford a 911. They do make a model underneath that, well they used to, called the Boxster, but guys never bought that as the Boxster was more favoured by women. And just for what it's worth, I didn't buy these skis last Monday as this season is well and truly over and there's hardly anything suitable for me in the rack at Snow Plus Rock. But there's a trade fair at Chill Factor on 5th or 6th of October this year, so I'll be going and buying my new skis there, then and there because they've got all the latest and greatest gear for the 2025 season. Anyway, enough about me. As you know, there's been women's fashion trains all over America closing down and the women's fashion shops are closing retails as it's having a dramatic effect on the industry. The You could say the MGTOW factor is affecting them because women, they can buy all the clothes they want, but they've got to start using their own money. And that's sort of having a knock-on effect, but in a upward trend for men. As looking around, I found this. As you can see, it's a site called Cool Track, and this generally is aimed at men's shirts. But if you scroll down, this took my eye. The growth in men's apparel in America. This 2015 to 2025. As you know, uh, fourth wave feminism kicked off 2012, which is about here. Now, men saw that women are no longer interested in them and they become ultra picky except for Chad and Tyrone. So, as you can see, there's an exponential growth as the guys, instead of spending money on them, on women, were able to spend it on themselves. And this could be, you could say, the MGTOW factor affecting growth of apparel in men's clothes, accessories, etc. And it says the men's apparel industry growth drivers. It says the men's apparel market is seeing significant growth due to increased fashion consciousness among millennial men, which is the generation which is seeing how millennial women are. Fashion designers have just started to focus on the mus musculine aspect of men are becoming more aware of fashion while having uh, the potential to bear higher prices, i.e. they've got more disposable income. The growing purchasing power of men in America has led to the growth of apparel companies, which if you take a step back, that means that companies have seen that guys are not dating or bothering to go with women, are working on themselves, accumulating money, and they've got more disposable income than they had if they were in a relationship. Then it just goes down about shirts, etc. Yada, yada, yada. Now, to back up that, I found this. As you can see, it's Retail Brew. This was done on September 28, 2022. It says men shopping more than women. Question mark. Until recently, the idea seemed improbable to many people, but things are changing. Recently, both Capri Holdings and Tapestry said menswear would become important, an important area of growth over the next year. And then to back that up, Euromonitor predicts menswear will grow faster than women's wear in the next four years and at $547.9 billion a year by 2026 and then it goes the old whipping boy can attribute to, attribute to the pandemic no it mostly attributed to guys having more disposable income and then the top 10 brands the top three athletic brands have seen get largest gains over the past five years with a combined market share of 8.3 in 2017 to 9.8% in 2021. And then yada, 
yada about it fashion etc to back that up i found this this was done on october 2023 online men's clothing sales in america market sale industry analysis trend and forecast 2024 to 2029 now revenue has gone up 9.3 percent the number of people employed in the men's fashion industry has gone up 8.5 percent and the number of businesses catering to men's fashion and men's accessories have gone up 7.3 percent there's nothing on that and it says the online clothing sales market consists of operators selling men's, men's apparel and accessories including footwear by e-commerce has experienced rapid growth over the past five years uh, revenue of cert ah revenue of surge due to favorable economic conditions such as higher discretion discretionary income which means the guys have got more money to spend on themselves and low unemployment rates that mean there's more guys in work guys can turn their hands to all kinds of jobs remember contributing to a boost in discretionary spending as a result revenue for online men's clothing companies is expected to grow at 9.3 percent to 21.2 billion over the five five years to 2023 well that was last year with a 1.8 percent decrease in 2023 alone well a guy doesn't need as many clothes as a woman when profit is expected to hit 6.9 percent of revenue and then it just goes different statistics about it now to back up this i found this it says it's medium.com this was done on may 13th 2024 this year you're an american menswear market size share analysis 2024 to 2032 now remember 50, by 2030 50 odd percent of women in america will be childless and single so the guy's got to spend some money so he might as spend it on himself and it's mostly about fashion this that and the other but just this last paragraph the united states menswear market size is projected to exhibit a growth rate of 2.8 percent during 2024 to 2032 so these women that are not going to be in any relationships the guys are spending the money on himself and now to back up this i found this this is a site called linkin.com the growing market menswear market menswear market analysis size shared emerging trends growth drivers strategic insights etc this was done february the 9th this year this is the only bit which is relevant in 2022 the global menswear market size was valued at 590 five, sorry 580.9 billion dollars per year by 2030 which is that it is expected that this market will reach around 925.17 billion US dollars in other words almost a trillion US dollars per year experience a compound a compound annual growth rate of about 5.99 percent from 2023 last year to 2030 where 46 or 52 percent of american women will be single and childless this is globally remember but remember the american market is a large percentage of that because on statistica i found a men's apparel america revenue of men's apparel has reached 31 billion dollars by this year revenue is expected to show annual growth rate of 8.51 percent in america remember resulted in a projected market value of 46.63 billion by 2029 now that 46.63 billion is single guys in america spending the money on themselves improving their wardrobe because 
a guy likes to look good when he's going out. So, instead of spending it on women, he's spending it on men. On himself, I should say. In the men's apparel market, the number of users is expected to amount to 38 million users by 2029, which backs up that. So, there's 38 million guys in America who, are, if they've not joined the MGTOW philosophy, will be joining the MGTOW philosophy. So, there's 38 million more American women who will be single with no dates because guys are going their own way. User penetration will be 10.3% by this year. That's the number of guys at penetrating the menswear market buying stuff and expected to hit 11.1% by 2029, which backs up that and that. The average revenue per user is expected to amount to $928.50 which means each individual American guy spends on average on himself nearly a thousand dollars instead of spending it on a woman in a relationship. Now, to finish off, to give a bit of balance, this is women's apparel in America. In 2024, this year, the women's average apparel market in America was a staggering 191 Point four billion US dollars. Now, if she wants to spend money on herself, fine. But that hundred and ninety one billion dollars, is that all her own money? Or is that money from her husband if she's married? Or has she bought the clothes on tick, i.e. on credit? They all mounts up. It doesn't go into specifics, but that's the question that I ask when I see figures like that. Now, the market is expected an annual growth rate of 2.14%. But if you drop back to that, the growth rate for men's clothes in America will be 8.51%. So, obviously, these closures from the Macy's and all these women's outfits outlets in America are reflected in that 2.14 percent of American women are not spending as much on clothes because they have to start using their own money and it says when compared globally in the United States generates the highest revenue per segment reaching 191.4 billion which is that taking into account the total population per person per revenue is estimated 560 US dollars. Looking ahead to 2021, the volume of women's apparel market is expected to reach 14,330 pieces unit, which means that is the number of outfit per statistically per woman in America. In other words, America women buying a lot of clothes because women, unlike men, have to have different outfits for different things whereas a guy can get by with not many clothes i am one of them and it says furthermore the total volume is 1.6 predicted for 2.25 percent 1.6 1.6% is predicted for 2025 so if you drop back to that uh where is it now du -du -du. Total volume 1.6. These guys are more. Penetration is 10.3. So there's more guys buying clothes than women. And then in America, the trend in women's apparel market is a shift towards sustainability and ethnically produced clothing. Well, that's just about fashion, etc. In 2024, the average volume per person. A well, women's market is projected at 39.4 piece units. That means each woman in America has 39.4 articles of clothing. And again, if you drop back to that, unit penetration 11.1% for men. But once again, women have more clothes than guys because guys don't need as many clothes as women. But it all boils down to there's lots of women's out 
outlets clothing in America, even though they're spending a staggering $191 billion. But as these articles show, the growth in men's clothing because men's of more disposable income is rapidly catching up. And it's a boom in men's clothing. And there's more businesses and revenue being generated via men than there is via women. And the market share of clothes in America is, and this, 2.8% from this year to 2032. The also the global market for men buying stuff with disposable income because MGTOW remembers a global ma philosophy. Well, valued at 580.9 billion by the year 2000, it'll be knocking on the door of a trillion US dollars. And in America itself, the growth penetration is 11.1 percent by 2029, and it the growth of men's clothing in America is 8.51%. And um, women are only, uh, where is it, where is it, where is it, staring at me, Did, uh, only 2.14%. So the MGTOW effect is having an effect on the American clothing industry with men being the benefit and women through being super picky except Chad and Tyrone, they're going to be suffering the next few years, especially in 2030 when 52% of them are going to be childless and single. I think I'm on the half an hour mark now, so I'll have to leave it at that. I'll naturally put all these links not below because of YouTube's stupid decision to choose move the comment section to the right so everything will be on the right hand side but for now you know the routine like dislike etc it's completely up to you but online clothing stores things are looking good for men and not that good for women so until next monday that's it for this one bye bye